Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I've officially decided to make a YouTube video, YouTube channel. I've been wanting to do this for years and I just never had the guts. I never thought I was that good at makeup, but we're doing it because 2020 is the year of doing things. <laughs> so today I have to go into the office, do a few meetings, run some errands. So we're going to do a quick easy look into the office. So today we're going to go in with, my skin's a little dry today, so I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hydraulic Acid Primer. I'm going to go in with just one pump and put it on my skin. My face is seriously breaking out. I just switched over to a new birth control. So my hormones are all out of whack. So please don't mind <laughs> the breakout. Um, for um, I'm gonna do my eyes first because last time I made this mistake and I got fallout all over my face. So what are we gonna do today? What are we gonna do? You know what? What I'm gonna do today? I'm going to keep it real simple and do a winged eyeliner look. So I'm going to go in with this Your Cutie Colourpop palette. I think this was an Ulta exclusive. Um, I'm going to use the shade So Fine. And we're going to buff that all over the crease. I'm not going to go in with any primer or anything because this is just going to be a light shade and the eyeliner is going to be the star of the show. So I really like this palette. It's got a mixture of uh, purple and pinks, but a little browns as well. This this color right here, it's like a blue, purpley. What is the word for that? Blue, purpley, monochrome. It's gorgeous. So once we're done with So Fine, I'm gonna also go in with First Date, same brush and we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're focusing this on the outer corner of our eye and into the crease. Doing a windshield wiper motions. So how was everybody's 4th of July? Mine was really good. Uh, we grilled out and played some games and just hung out. I think I fell asleep at like 7.30 and I slept through all the fireworks. Uh, thankfully, my dogs aren't really affected by the noise, so they were really well behaved. I know some people's dogs are just, they go crazy at the noise and feel so bad, but thankfully my dogs are pretty good. So once we have that down, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Liquid Liner. I really love ColourPop, if you can't tell. It's my favorite brand that's affordable. They're vegan, cruelty-free. I love them. Their products are better to me than a lot of high-end beauty brands are. So we're going to go with this liner, and I'm just going to do a little wing. For the wing, I do... A line. I mean, this is gonna be like a thicker wing, and then you draw up, and then I'm gonna connect them. That. This is definitely a more crazier wing. It's gonna be our statement piece. So the eyes are done. This eye is a lot thicker than this eye, but we're not here to be twins. We're cousins. <laughs> so for foundation, I've been really loving this combination of the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear and the Radiant Liquid, Dream Radiant Liquid by Maybelline. 
um, this shade's a little too dark, this shade's a little too light, so we're going to mix the two together. I also really like this because it's a 24-hour wear, and especially with me wearing the mask, um, things could rub off. So we're just going to do a pump of each. We're going to mix them together with our Beautique blender. Some people like to use brushes, but personally, I like to use my beauty blender. I just put it all over the face. And then blend it out. Yeah, so my dogs are really well behaved during the fireworks. Um, we actually cooked them a burger <laughs> and a hot dog. Um, to celebrate 4th of July. This is Bo's 3rd, 4th of July with us, and Chloe's 2nd. So I don't think we did anything crazy any of the years. So it was just fun to just hang out at home um, with everything going on in the world. It's, we couldn't really go anywhere, so it was nice. Work is going really crazy right now. I have to go in and do a few meetings today. And also, I'm doing a meeting. I have a consultant meeting with a mortgage loan person. I'm trying to buy a house. So I had that meeting today. I have to get it like pre-approved for a loan, obviously, and then find out how much money I can afford or how much I can afford on a house. That's what I'm doing later today. I've been really excited. I don't know anything about buying a house at all. I, all I ever did was rent. So it'll be really interesting. I have this really amazing realtor, so she's going to hook me up with the mortgage lady. So for concealer, I'm going to go with the Stacerance Concealer. I love this as well. It's zero smudge, waterproof. Great for going to work. You know it's going to stay on all day. So we're going to just blend that out with the same beauty blender and just bring it under your eye, conceal those bags. We like to go in, I like to go in with a lighter shade to kind of brighten that area up. I think that this um, concealer is also a dupe for the, the Tarte Shape Shape. <laughs> I think it's the same kind of consistency, but this one's only like $7 compared to the 25 I think the Tarte one is, so it's a bang for your buck, or is that how you say that? Bang for your buck, buck for your bang, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so once that is all blended out, I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder to kind of set everything. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is great if you have um, drier skin like me. It doesn't make it look crepey. Take a little brush. This is by e.l.f. This is a powder brush. It's perfect for using a powder for mouth. And I'm just going to put it under my eyes. So I put it in the lid and I'm swirling and then I'm going to tap off the excess. Put it in my eyes and then whatever is left on the brush I'll bring it down all over my face to kind of set everything. I'm not a huge powder fan but do what you gotta do to make your makeup last all day when you're going into the office and you have to wear a mask. Uh, so next, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. I just got this bronzer from the drugstore yesterday, so I want to try it out. This is the Wet n Wild Color Iconic Bronzer. It's more of a shimmery bronzer. Most people don't like shimmery bronzers, I found, but I personally do. So, just personal preference. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe M406 brush and twirl it in and then tap off the excess. I hope this shade isn't too dark for me. I was between this shade and another one. I didn't know which one to get. 
So I'm just gonna carve out my cheeks and my forehead and under my jaw. So I think this is a good color. I don't like to use too much bronzer because then you'll look a little crazy. So, but I'm really pale now that I've moved to Seattle. <laughs> So I like to look a little bit tanner than I am. I'm also going to put some on the bridge of my nose. I'm not going to contour, but just bronze it up. Okay. So now that we have that laid down, I'm going to go on with some blush. What brush do I want to use today? I'm going to go in with a pinky, a pinky brush. I'm going to use a Milani and Luminoso. This is their baked blushes. It's also kind of um, sparkly, glowy, so it kind of matches the bronzer. I like to look real glowy. I also like these because they're not huge like chunks of glitter. They're just like a nice glow on the face. And I've been trying a new method where I used to just like brush it on, but I've been trying this new method where like I have it on and I feel like I get a lot more pigment and it stays longer than before. Okay, so once that's done, we're gonna do our eyebrows. I just got this. I used to, I love the NYX Micro, what is it? The NYX Micro Brow Professional. It's the dupe, it's the dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but I just ran out, so I'm gonna, I just bought this at the drugstore. This is e.l.f. Insta Lift Brow Pencil in the color Deep Brown. So I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows, and I'm just gonna go in. This does have a fatter tip than what I'm used to, but it'll be fine. So I like to start underneath, and then draw out. And once I have that, I'll go in at the top, but only from here over, like the arch. And fill that in. Because over here, it's like I have this little devil ring, I think that's what they're called. And I don't like to take away from that. And then you go with your spoolie and brush through it so there's no harsh lines. Yeah. I still like the next one better, but this was, I think, $2. <laughs> So my eyebrows are not twins, they are cousins, just like my eyeliner. <laughs> um, so, people probably can like split my face in half and it'd be two different people because I'm not very good at symmetry, but whatever. This is a real YouTube channel, not one of those professional people that like, look perfect every day. So after that, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Bross, Boss, Brow Boss Gel. Oh my god, I can't talk. And then just run that through my eyebrows. Yeah, I'm running out of this. i got to buy more. I really love ColourPop. <laughs> I could swear by ColourPop. Literally swear by it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in... I think I want to go in with a little topper. Um, do I? Do I? Yeah. No. Do I? Yeah. I'm okay. So I'm gonna take this ColourPop, the the same palette that your Kiwi ColourPop palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Love Me, and I'm gonna use my finger, and I'm just gonna dab that on the lids. It's like a pretty, um, like opaque, sparkly pink. And then I'm gonna put it all over the lid. Like so. 
I like to use my finger. I feel like you get more pigment that way. I'm gonna go back in with the liner. Oh. Back in with the liner. And just go over where we put the sparkles. Like so. Okay. I really don't like my So next don't just think maybe I will. I don't know. We're gonna have lots of editing to do in this video. We are because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take a little bit of a highlight. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Designer Collection Horse and Carriage. This is the best, the best highlighter. It is so pigmented. Oh my god, it's blinding. It's kind of too blinding, so a little goes a long way long way. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it on the cheeks of my, or not the cheeks, the top points of my face. With a fluffy brush, this brush is from Morphe, it's an M518. And bring it up, do the same thing on this side. I used to not be a big highlighter fan. But it's recently growing on me. You gotta find the right one. I hate it when it like looks chunky on the skin. Um, so you really have to find the right the right one. But once you find it, you're looking glowing. So I just put some on the tip of my nose and the bridge of and then my cupid's bow. I'm gonna take a little flat brush. This is by this is the Precision Crease Luxie 246. Put a little bit. There's dog hair everywhere. Put a little bit on and then put it in the inner corners of my eye to add a little pop. Alright. We are almost done here, people. I'm going to take the Smashbox Photo Finish Setting Spray Weightless. I got this in a Boxy Charm last month, and I don't know, it's not new, and I don't know why I've never tried it before. I'm not a huge fan of the sprayer on it. It's not fine, like um, the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, but it really does keep my makeup in place. So although I have to wear a mask and you won't be able to see my my lips, we're gonna go in with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil and BFF3. They make okay. <laughs> Honestly, ColourPop needs to sponsor me because I'm obsessed. They make the best lippy liners. They're so creamy and they stay a long time. I'm really into browns and like nude lips lately. If you knew me in high school or college, I loved um, purples, purple lipstick. And I mean, I still do, purple is my color, but Browns and nudes are my new thing these days. I'm going to top that off with the Dose of Colors Nude Mood Liquid Lipstick. I also got this in a, a BoxyCharm. If you haven't tried BoxyCharm, it's amazing. It is $25 for five full size products. And it could like value over like $150. It's amazing. And I'm just going to put this all on top of that.
And Boxy Charm. If you if you don't like a product, it's because you don't really get to you don't know what's in there. It's just a random like mystery box, pretty much. Um, if you don't like a product, it doesn't matter because you only pay twenty five dollars for it, and literally you get the money back for one. Pro I don't know how to say that. <laughs> one product in the box could value more than you pay for the box. So it's really like a bang for your buck kind of thing. Because I've gotten a few things I didn't love in it, but it's worth it in the end. And it's a fun little mixer. You get it in the mail every month. You're like, oh, what did I get? It's exciting. Um, so last step, mascara. I'm going to go with the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. This is my drugstore holy grail. Like, if I had to say one thing from the drugstore you need in your life, it is this mascara. I don't know why people in the beauty community don't talk about it. Whenever I watch, like, beauty people on YouTube, they're obsessed with the, like, Lash Paradise or the, like, Bambi Eye or Telescope. Oh, that just happened. We will clean that up on my fan. This is my first video. We're allowed to make a flop here and there. I promise I'll get better. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel <laughs> so you could watch more content of me uh, messing up. Also, I love this mascara because it's got such a small wand um, that it's easy to get all the hairs. Mascara to those really big fat wands, I get it everywhere. Even with the small one, I still get it everywhere, but it's not as, not as crazy. Okay, so we're gonna go back in and clean up my mess. Q-tip. I think this is more than a, more than a saliva. <laughs> well, I just got I don't even know what to do. Okay, now that we cleaned that up, <laughs> go back in. Okay, and we are done, people. We're done with this amazing look. Okay. If you like makeup, if you like dogs, if you like me, subscribe to my channel. I don't know when I'll be putting up videos. I don't know if they'll be good. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing them. But we'll see. So I will talk to you guys later. And that's it. Bye.